Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the trendiest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa. You're naughty, Ko and Ko, Ife Oluwa. You're so stubborn. Jesus. The things he gave does me a behind like, the now, like, um, it's, he's like, so bro, stressful. Like, bro, for real, this do you peace vodka? This is why I cannot date a last born, like... You know. Okay, they had to put it out there for all the ladies who like last born. I'm available. Mm. I'm, I'm available. Who likes last born? Hey, I'm available. First born, so a... you, you, the stress you add is too much. Your fellow last born. So you guys like last born? No. See, first born, too much stubborn. responsibility. Brothers, we call them. Sisters, we call them. See, last born, we don't have anybody calling us. So I'll spend all my no, money no, on oh, you. Oh, new responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> I will spend all my money on you. Do you understand? <laughs> but if you go and marry like first born, second born, ah. They consider everybody. Eh, they say eh, she want you like you will sorry, so you know? mm -hmm. they will still be calling them. But you know me, I'm a really. Bele. Oh shit, you want more bele? Stop. They were able to know if they tell people I have high blood pressure, it's my core and core. Ife. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, Ife. <laughs> 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 Definitely in the mood to blow his own trumpet as he took to Twitter to say, and I quote, I am Nigeria's artist of the decade. Oleku was the right to express deeply and the biggest uh, biggest Afrobeat song ever. An honor it was um, my voice. Shout out Ice Prince Zamani. Ara is bigger than any other song in Nigeria since its release and I created the alternatives, end of quote. As the conversation went on, a Twitter user said if his affirmation was right, he wouldn't need to point it out himself. The fans would do the needful, end of quote. And Brian Moore replied the tweet saying, the influencers amongst the fans are like Nigerian voters. They are bots. End of quote. Man down. Okay, that la <laughs> let me start with that last line. That's not even true. Mm. Nobody's buying anybody. If Is that what you think? Yeah. If I, what do you think? Do you well, think I've not uh, been fans bought. Are, I, mean, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I've not been bought, and How I don't think anybody. Tweets? Does it, is it about, is it about tweeting, tweeting now? Talking about the influencers that will, will blow this trumpet if you did not blow it. What if that's why I mean I agree with that Twitter user. If it is what it is, people will blow that up. Are, are you saying do they buy you? Yeah, let me ask a you. A lot of do they buy me? Yeah. Of course, there are times you have to give me some something to direct my conversation, and maybe I'll see it through you. I'm not going to joke about that. So let's not try to be let's not try to be sentimental. And sometimes there are too many artists out there that you have to actually draw the influencers' attention to yourself. So drawing the attention to you sometimes requires greasing the palm. So if they now decide to come and overblow the trumpet and say that you are the giant of Africa when you're not the giant of Africa, that's another ball game entirely. But they deliberately, which is what's called PR, they deliberately direct influencers to notice them and talk about them or just review my work. And when your work is being reviewed, it means that people are talking about you. That's just how it works. So, Laura Kwan, you have been bought. <sighs> Mm, exactly. <laughs> right. Laura so, Kwan. You have been bought severally. <laughs> well, it's just. Yeah, like a Nigerian want, butter. I want to start from the bottom instead of the beginning. <laughs> but my own is Bramo is one of my best artists. Mm. Uh, when it comes to Oleku, Oleku was a jam and is still a jam. Like, this is a song that reigned for a long time. I definitely came out this decade, uh, this outgoing decade, and it was a song. And Ara, nobody can say you don't Ara. know Arambe and. Mm. Well, I don't know. I'm your money bogey. Mm. But nobody can say you don't know. Know that song and the 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 level of influence he had so mm. i get where he's coming from and truly truly if nobody's blowing your trumpet play it by yourself it's not that big deal man I'm, and to be honest i'm very okay with him blowing his trumpet i mm. say it all the time no like if in the first words nobody will blow your trumpet so blow it yourself mm. it's okay to feel like you're the best artist in the world it's okay. It's what you... I mean, that's one of the things that will keep you going if mm. nobody's saying that to you. And like you rightly said, Bremo is not even an artist that you can push by the side. He's mm. one of the great artists we have in Nigeria. True. If you listen to all his album, you'll know that mm, this person does not just put out music. Yeah. He puts out good, reasonable music, not just noise. I mean, I will give it to him that, well, if he's saying that, it's not a lie. All right, so like the both of you have rightly said, when it comes to content, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to delivery, when it comes to the voice, when it comes to the instruments, when it talk, comes to the whole thing that makes up a song, an album, then mm -hmm. we have to give it to Brimo because mm -hmm. I still jam to Brimo's albums. Like I have like three. Oleku and then is always tell me you know what I mean. And then forever. No Oleku, big shout out to Ice Prince, like yeah. you rightly said, and it wasn't even Oleku is a jam. 
He even Big brought one. back a trend. He even brought back, back the Ole Ku style. Trend, you know? you know? <laughs> a lot of ladies started wearing the Ole Ku again. Then Ara. Mm. Come on, man. Ara it was bad. every church. You know? Hey. Every church. Every church. Yeah. There was Ara, a Ara is a jam for these. Yeah, right. Do you understand? And when thinking about it now, I didn't even think that song was alternative until now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now, I then I went. The alternative movement. Yes. I wouldn't yeah. say that because we actually searched and we found that a lot of other people had done alternative sound, but he made Making it, it prominent. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say that anybody that so makes it trending we, is we, like we weren't calling it alternative. It was just yeah. good music. He wasn't calling it alternative then too. That's the crazy thing. Mm. He didn't call it alternative. Mm. Do you understand? You would have probably put it in the Afrobeat genre back then, mm. but it became a style. A lot of people started using beats like that. We started using techno. We started using the electronic. We started mm. using different sound to make good music. So, um, in my words, like you said, if no one blows your trumpet, blow it for blow yourself. It yourself. And um, it doesn't need. Personally, I don't need anyone's validation before I call myself the best. Right. Do you understand? And um, like you said, look at one of our influencers that just affirmed that she has been bought <laughs> or severally and all that. So, you know, um, this guy too, was it that came? Every guy that said he didn't make some polls list yeah, or yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, yeah. blah, blah and all of that. So... At the end of and the day, and then Chinko Ekun that also came out to you know say that he's one of like the great artists in Nigeria, even if people. And Timaya that said you should not put in the same category as some. I mean, it's not about how you see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think this one is not even about and blowing this trumpet. And we can't even say they're being ridiculous because no. when you see yourself in a certain light and people, a good number of people, even if it's not everybody, I saw people trying to drag him and saying, "Baba, you are good, but calm down." You already agreed that he's good. So the fact that he's not your whiskey than Davido that you make noise about, do you, if you want to talk about. Um, artistically, you cannot compare a Davido with a Brian mm -hmm. But because they have different sounds, the way people accept their sound is different. And okay, wait, okay. I was different. even going to say that. You know, maybe so, Brian Moore is not the the whiskey the Davido that they are always in the news or whatever, but Brian Moore is big even outside the saying. country. That's what I'm no, like I'm even saying that we can compare him with whiskey and Davido. Maybe he's not making headline, but is big even mm -hmm. outside the country. Can we really compare yes. to Whiskey and Davido? Yes. No, he has better songs than Whiskey I'm not talking about his songs, like but in Brian terms Moore of himself. international um, recognition, recognition, acceptance, nah, don't let us even go there. Even Asha, uh, that has the yeah. international fan base, is not as big as Whiskey and Davido. Mm -hmm. And Brian Moore is in the same space as Asha, yeah. Johnny Drill. Um, Rick Hassan, Asani, so you right? Think Asha is, it Asha is not as big as a whiskey. Well, Asha, is or a Asha is very big, but when you're talking about international, Asha is big in France. She's big in Germany. She's big. She's big in Europe. But when you're talking about people that are big worldwide, Bonaparte sold out concerts all over Europe. Sold out concerts in America. Sold out concerts in so you think South Asha America. Will sold out out? concerts. Well, come on, man. Let's let's be real. Let us okay. be real on this table. I, no, I think you should just maybe. How do I put it? There was this thing you were saying one day that Nigerians, once our artists are big here in our head, we think they are like big, big everywhere. Before no, we're seeing it because that not, is what. No, no, we're seeing the media. When it comes to whiskey and the video, they be featured on international platforms, and you can see mm. it, and you know the likes of um, Coachella and the rest, mm. and even magazines that you would not just expect anybody to. Be and then they have sold out concerts worldwide. Right. For you me, know, so I feel like it, it Asha is, Asha is really is, Nobody's big. disputing no, no, that Asha. this conversation came from Whiskey, whiskey not and even Asha. And she was, he was trying to say, Brymo is definitely big. You can even place Brymo by Asha, but you cannot start comparing a Brymo and a Davido. Well, for not me, in I terms of compare. content right now, but in terms of even in terms how of content, far yeah. they have gone. Yeah, I, but I, obviously, I, I if you are talking about content, Brymo will make the list of one of the greatest artists Nigeria will ever see. So, Baba, please, by all means, blow your own mm -hmm. yeah. and we are still listening and to your last album i beg lit. drop another one already please moving on ex bb niger housemates chloe took to her instagram page to share her christmas prayer sharing a photo of sierra and her family she used the image as a point of contact and her caption says quotes lord jesus christ it's your birthday and i have a request i wish to have a family or couple christmas pictures like this in the next 365 days i know you're right on your throne of mercy listening and granting wishes today lord here is my request please be my santa end of quote and i say amen to you and amen to your prayer before i start asking 
with what parts exactly. I understand you wanting the picture, but wanting this exact picture. Are you, <laughs> going, to buy, are you going to buy the children? I don't think she wants that She's not that talking exact about picture. the picture. She's talking but, about the family, I guess. But it didn't take Ciara 365 days to get this her? family. Mm -hmm. Ciara has been there since. What, you get, that's what yeah. I'm asking for. Are you going to buy them a full size? Yeah. It doesn't happen. And like then, that, at the, at the yeah, end of the day, going right. At the end of the day, too, I would also say that be careful what you wish for. I was Do you there. want to be the mother to another man's? Is that a bad thing? No, that's not. No, no, that's, that's not, not where I'm going. Thing. My point is, no, no, no. We're seeing saying... pictures. We're seeing the good side. Like, we, like we like rightly said, nobody puts their bad times on social media. Mm -hmm. So all we are seeing is a good time. We don't know what is going on inside. No, but I think so a lot of people wishing... are taking it out of context when they are saying that she's just saying she just saw a beautiful picture of a family and she's like, I would love to have a family. But a lot of people are taking it out of context, like she wants Ciara's life. No, that's not what it is. Do you understand? What it really is is that, oh, by this time, 2020, I also want a family of my own. So it might just be a family, be, it might just be a man. Do you understand? Yes, do you understand? And then take a, a picture like that and put it out there. That's what she's just praying for a family. But people are now attributing it because she used Ciara like she wants Ciara's life. I, I don't even think anybody's um, prayer or wishes is too big or invalid. I mean, of if course. this is what you want. If, in fact, if you want this exact picture, God can give you a man that already has two children and he loves you, you might. Right. <laughs> Right, and, and you get this. So it's not a bad thing. Do you know a lot of women happy, say yeah. it's not a bad thing until they actually get into that relationship What's and that? then they are the ones to raise another man's it's child. And then they are the ones that will maltreat that child as soon as they start having their advocating own maltreating child. anybody's child. No, I'm just saying. Yes, I get I'm what just you're saying, saying like, but there is nothing easy in life. Even when you're married to a man that does not have a child, that it comes with his own challenges. You're either getting it from the family or even raising the man himself. Raising your own kids, raising your own kids, is very comes challenging. With own issues so, too. so everything there's nothing has that is challenges. not challenging. I don't think it is. But are you not saying a man with children or divorce? For me, what, what I believe family. is if you love somebody, you love everything that has to do with that person. And you mm. decide when the issue comes, you know you're there for the easier long said than done. It's together. Yes, it's just said that done if you, you want to say that. But what I'm saying hmm? is that. Are you looking for a wife that you have not seen? Oh no, I found a wife. And he will so why is this? Just, if you can't do it, why can't others do it? Exactly. I mean, you have a child, and then you and find but, somebody but that's on. loving you. Mm -hmm. and loving I, child, we're not so. married yet. I don't know how she's going to treat my is daughter. Is that why you're scared? Of course, I'm scared. Oh. Until I see how she treats my daughter before I know if it's for real. Bele. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's time for a quick break, and when we come back, Timmy Dakolo is dishing out some relationship advice. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. Um, here is Timmy Dakolo's partnership and or relationship advice to you. He said, and I quote, these days, if you want to get into any kind of partnership or relationship with anyone, ask for their social media handle. Please make effort to search for their comments on popular blogs so you can be sure of what you're getting into. People are the things they say. Hashtag values. End mm. of quotes. Okay. Okay, Should so, um, yeah, yeah, please go. Like, I feel like this uh, this has um, disadvantage and advantage. Mm. But trust me, this is a very great idea that I think everybody should pick on. But that should not be like the main thing. What's the disadvantage? The disadvantage is that 
social media let's not forget that people can be fake on it we see a lot of motivational speakers come out and always posting um nice things Inspired preaching do you understand to and aspire. in real life that's not them that's not their real life so you can just fall into that trap and think that this person is what that i mean elsie we both know an example of people that put out you think that oh this person must be the most loving man and caring man on earth and, and in real they, life <laughs> but you know is, and in real life they are not like that so it's just it's a 50 50 thing but it's also very important even if they are fake at least know what they are putting out out there it's very important to know what your partner whosoever you want to marry or be with especially when it comes to social issues that are trending mm. know what they think about it know what they are what their opinions are on issues which is exactly where to me that color is coming mm. from he's not coming from what you're posting on your page that's not what he's talking about he's talking about he said go on blogs no, and no. read their comments so it's basically on trending issues what is your opinion so they tell you um it for a and then they did hashtag values you know example the wife's issue how it's not a, because this is coming from him now but that's one of the issues that if i'm going to do a background check on somebody i'm going to spend years of my life with i would like to know what your opinion um, on, is or was or rape. is that's if you put it out there was a time too i watched this movie acrimony mm -hmm. i remember i was saying now this was not even on social media i was saying if i'm anybody i'm going to get married to i would like to sit down watch this movie with this person and get the person's mm -hmm. side um his person's opinion on this story to know what i'm getting into so it's i like he said hashtag value um social media as fake as it is um people cannot fake it consistently they can fake in putting <laughs> things on their page i'm not talking about their page that. i'm talking I mean, we have real life experience of people that comment good things that you think that us, she get these people life. are like how this person must be but when they're in jesus christ yeah. of but when they have not gone there it's not going to be your hundred percent you know that you also have to yeah that's what i'm saying that watch mm. listen have other conversations but it's in, it's I get what very important. This is very yeah. important because I, the problem is I've not even dated people who comment on blogs, so I, this one does not work for me. They read, but they don't comment. They just have their conversations. I think like, social so. media has become very important for a lot of decisions to be made globally. Mm -hmm. The American embassy now look at your social media yeah. um, pages before they even. In fact, you go for some job interviews. Like I can proudly tell you that I was employed here before I was employed here. They asked for my social media handle, so I can imagine if I had like nasty crazy pictures with doing very i mean recently things. a girl lost a job because of what was on her page yeah do you understand so maybe i wouldn't have been employed so a lot of people need to know that what you put out there really matters because what you say is what makes up like at least 70 or 80 percent of who you really are because out of the abundance of that the mouth speaks or you. in these days <laughs> or, or these days the finger types mm. right so um so i think um this is a very good advice yeah. and um Big shout out to Timmy Dakolo for putting this one out there because people need to know that, look, your social media is the receipt. Do you understand? Because at the end of the day, this receipt will come out one, one, one time or the other. Maybe you're running for a political post and then someone sees what you said about rape, about xenoph xenophobia, afrophobia, whatever it is that you've spoken about in the past. And they pull that out and for that, you lose a seat, you lose a lot of things. So I'm not even going to put it in just relationship yeah, he said, space yeah, right yeah, now. He said partnership. Yeah, I'm not just going to put it in the relationship space right now i'm just putting it like generally be careful what you put on social media mm. and i'm glad i don't comment more than lol <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's a problem too because if i check out everywhere i did lol lol but that was a problem i mean very I, happy maybe i'm not joker <laughs> it might just be a disorder no just you need to just i finally seen joker job. okay you guys didn't get it i've seen joker oh you have oh, after how many you this guy it? after what many I think years about it? it took me five days to watch it mm. it wasn't that great yeah, in his opinion, I mean, he has always it wasn't said, that he great. said he was not that great. Mm. He was always sleeping off him. I was always sleeping off him. Especially when he didn't go to cinema. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. I didn't even pay. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if even I had gone to the movie, cinema, I would have been more happy. Yeah, in your house, you'll do that. Yeah, you'll sleep off sometimes when you're really tired. Mm. So. Mm. It wasn't that great, though. You, it was too hyped. It's hype. a great piece of content. And then I'm wondering why. Yeah, it's a great piece of content. And then I'm wondering why. Yeah, it's a great piece of content. And then I'm wondering why. Yeah, it's a great piece of content. And then I'm wondering why somebody would kill himself because he just showed me that. He just showed me that you didn't get the message. Do you understand? Mm. Because the message isn't for you to kill yourself at well, the like end I of the said, day. Or like I said, maybe you're not mentally strong enough to watch that kind of mm. movie. So well, we need, what, we what need to start grading movies based on uh, mental capacity.
Mm. But we are going into Jokan now. Should we move on in peace? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Dolo advises up and coming artists to work on self in order to attract an investor instead of begging for record label deals. Yeah, yeah I, I think. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Did, should I tell you why I do Wally? Why? I now went to the guy's page mm -hmm. to actually check. So I could. I now felt like I think this was a personal. I was like, bro, yeah. go work on yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, mm -hmm. But it's a very good advice. No, it's a very yeah. good advice. It's applicable everywhere i think don jazzy said something similar, similar to mm. that when somebody was at and it was like don't beg because people will take advantage of you yeah. so work on yourself and know what you're putting out there so i went to this guy's page he has on maybe like 200 and something followers to start with mm. he's not putting anything um about his music out there he's not using the platform to even promote his music to start with his mm. probably with his boys or take it but um if you look at uh what's his name now hot kid fire that um dr dollars signed mm -hmm. the boy was making sure his instagram and that was where they found hot kid fire from his instagram mm -hmm. he was always tagging dr dollar do you understand and the guy had to go to his house the boy was even shocked the day dr dollar came do you get because at the end of the day you what are you using your platform for do. Mm -hmm. do you understand so work on yourself when you work on yourself we when you realize yourself. what your platform is meant for maybe you will um attract, attract an investor but at this stage man if I, if, I'm, if you're telling me about your music and i go to all your platforms and i don't hear one single sound i don't see one single freestyle video then what am i signing how do i even know you're good mm. everybody sings these days i, I bet you as a musical career in the pipeline god forbid no i know my calling it's not my calling if they... so what's your calling Cooking. If you say cooking now, yeah, I can step oh, in and shit. say, yeah, I see I why I'm married to you. <laughs> you are me. Oh, lonely family. Is okay. Are you going to oh, a wedding baby. or not? Oh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> The first said it up. Basically, we brand yourself, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to attract people. It's just very logical. If something's not attractive, nobody's going to come for it. Yeah. And know your own value. The moment you know your own value, other people will respect your value. Mm -hmm. Be like Ladipo. He said, even after Don Jazzy sent him a meal, he did Shakara, but it was not too long ago, but at least he, <laughs> he did Shakara a bit. And yeah. I'm sure at that point, Don Jazzy will know that, okay, this person is not thirsty or hungry. Even if deep down inside you, yeah, I just want to go to Don Jazzy's house well, already. You know, Ladipo's yeah. case is kind of different because Ladipo already had a name before Don Jazzy even wrote him. It does not matter, man. But it's what not... What if he did not see the value of himself also? Right. Even though he had a name, how yes. could he there not people see that it? Yeah, people like he, that. When he's done like song that. with them, SDC and Ladipo is a, is a household name, if you ask me. Yeah, people like... A lot of people don't even know what they carry. Well, true that, though. Hmm. But anyway, you two have said it all. I'll just say shout-out to Dr. Dolo for... Mm. Like I am, they're doing a massive work, and every other artist is signing up. So we hope they get that big. But I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, our Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television and also on Auto TV. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ewa Oluwa Witu and Ife Oluwa Shukaye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and keep enjoying your holiday. Thank you.